Okay, so here we are, unfortunately, again, because all my previous recordings were pretty terrible, which is really soul destroying because I think I had a lot of nice, well, nice, not funny reactions to various things that happened throughout the story. But the recordings came out terrible. I was using a different software to record it, and it records all the audio into one channel. So I've learnt from my mistake. And as a result, I am now going to actually let's let's do this differently. Let's do it on real realistic now because I, I did the previous recording on hard. Let's see if I can do realistic. Uh, makes it a bit different for me and might get some better reactions from me. So apologies that I messed up all my previous recordings, which is really frustrating. I got all the way to the end of the Viking campaign, um, but we're going to do it all again so that I actually have some decent recordings. So sub story over. Let's start with the tale. I am Apollyon, warlord of the Blackstone Legion. In that year, I sent one of my commanders, Holden Cross, to punish a betrayer. There was a warden there, in the way. There are many wardens. This one would prove unique. Okay, let's go in with realistic and get my ass kicked. Which is exactly what is going to happen. Okay, so feats, I'll just quickly go through them. Um, okay, so we've got recover a large amount of health, which is what I'll probably you will we'll be using. Um, all your attacks deal 10% more damage. It's level 2, so they're slightly higher than they would be when you first start. Regain stamina rapidly while resting. Killing heroes grant attack slash defense boost for 25 seconds. Attacks inflict damage over 45 seconds. Reduce damage you take by 30%. Deal a moderate amount of extra damage for 15 seconds. Heal and gain a low damage boost for 15 seconds after an execution. Your attacks are unblockable for 30 seconds. Regain health when out of combat, which actually might be quite handy. Um, reduce damage you take by 30% for 30 seconds. Raises max health by 25% and gain a moderate damage boost on every parry for 15 seconds. Right, I'm going to stick with the ones I've been using throughout because I quite like them, so we will stick with them. Okay, so let's dive into the story. That day I learned that I was serving the wrong warlord. Purvis Daubeny. Defend the walls! The day that I met the Blackstone Legion. And Holden Cross. Come out! Daubeny! It doesn't have to be like this! off the walls my lord Ugh. break it down break it down I love the look of that round ah! someone move the ladder out of the way please Job to do. I need to get moving. Indeed, I do have my job to do. Now, I've already got all the observables, I think, but I'll just quickly show you. There's one down there, so right at the start, looking at directly at him, although it's quite annoying to actually get to pop up. Second observable we have here. Coming up the, east wall. the third one, straight up there. I actually ran into the level the first time I played this and thinking there was a way to get up there. There's not. You can actually activate them from a distance. Once they pop up, you can activate them. Okay. Let's push on. Boom. 
what you call a medieval flashbang. Okay, so we're gonna go through some standard training, entering guard mode, blocking on my enemy and switching target with alt, which we already know how to do. Guarding directionally with your mouse. And I'm going to have to react to his animation because there's no UI. Okay, so I need to match the direction of his attack. So that Okay, that just tells me it's locked on top. It's gonna be interesting fighting a lot of the uh, a lot of the other characters. Okay. And I have bad reactions anyway, so this is gonna be quite interesting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just just to prove the point. Top. When I can come against Valkyries, it's going to be so difficult. Right, okay, light right attack. Oops. Guarding. There's another guard in there. Right, I don't get the guard break yet. No, it's not letting the guard break. He's guarding that way. Keep an eye on your sword. And How do you activate this double slash? It's been bugging me for ages. I don't know how to do this properly. Uh, right, before we go any further, there's another observable there. Another observable just down here on the right. Okay, let's push up and Reinforcements were coming. I needed to hold that wall. We will hold. And we will try not to die. Bring it on, sir. Although, you're not particularly doing anything. I'm just spamming them at the moment and they're not actually attacking me, which is disappointing. Although, as we progress... Okay, okay. I'm a little intimidated now. I'm a little intimidated now. I said, no warning, I've just got to watch his animation, which is actually going to be very difficult when, oh crap, when you end up um, with enemies that are slightly off screen and you can't see them. This is going to be an interesting playthrough. Okie dokie. Pushing onwards. I was about to show you, there's another observable up there, but... I'll show you when I'm a little bit closer. Right, let's get our buff, our feet. Nearby allies continuously regain health. So we can use that to heal our allies. I believe it heals me as well. There's a power building here for spawning troops. Nothing you can actually do in here. For honor! Um. I just... Did I just walk through him? <laughs> I do love the animation. The dispatching soldier. Oh, sorry. When I was playing through the Viking campaign, that is just so satisfying. Just being the raider and just literally throwing them around and kicking them around. Well, I'm glad I'm not them. Just get another buff. Another each, let's say. Same. Oh no, I didn't go this way. That's going to be a different part. Just picked up a second feat, which gives me two uses of them. You can see at the bottom left. You can see at the bottom left, there's. Uh, it says two on the top right of the feet, which is assigned to my two. I wonder if they've made them a bit more passive, taking into account that it's unrealistic, just to ease the difficulty a little bit. I very much doubt that will stay the case as we progress. Can I get a quick... yeah, there we go. Quick little dive in there to do the damage. Yeah, because they're not attacking me that much, so I'm not having to block that. I suppose it's easing me into the, into the uh, realistic mode. 
I'm not making the demanding just yet. Right, in here we have our first breakables. And there is another observable here against this wall with some rather fine artwork. But there's another one here that I missed originally on this lion. Okay, let's push through. That is how it is done, you see? I saw it that time. I didn't see it the first time around. And one thing I pointed out in my previous one as well was watching these two here. Just how slow the li this little shield bash is. <laughs> it's it's amusing. I know it's all for ambience and it does work well as ambience, but when you actually stop and focus on it, sometimes it can be quite amusing to see what's happening. So we have another observable here inside this room, and we have another observable. Let me watch. Yeah, I missed that last time. Glad I just kind of caught it or crumbling down. So we have another observable there and another observable right up there, so that should be them all, I think. And now I shall stop messing around and actually play properly. What I will likely do is I will just play through the campaign uh, as, as I did previously. I'll play through the campaign as it is without worrying about oops, without worrying about observables and breakables so that I can just to show the game like and what I'll do is I'll I'll have a separate video where I'll show the lead up to the observables and breakables so that you can all see where they are and don't miss any. I don't believe there's any more. That catapult's still ready to fire. Right, here we go. Range every time I see that. Charge! To the breach! Ha! Through the breach! Right, it's nice how this guy is conveniently waiting for me to just drop down and take his head. Oh, no, they're my guys. Right, I'm really not looking forward to this duel. That battering ram would end this fight. Or rather, I am looking forward to it. It's just I don't expect to do well in it. So I'm looking. <laughs> I'm, I'm expecting to uh, provide you with some laughs, shall we say, at my expense. Oops, sorry. You shall not pass. Such a good game. Ubi have done such a good job on this. Yeah, sure, there's little faults with it. I can certainly pick, pick at it. But, um, you know, it's very rare for a game not to have some faults. And, to be honest, even when a game doesn't have... Even if the game is perfect in, in most ways, a lot of it's still opinion. You know, some people will like one thing, others won't like it. I love that round. These warriors don't have to die. Trial by combat, right now. What? Fight you? That's not a trial. That's an execution. Then fight my second. You! You will be my second. 
All right, then. If I refused, there would be a slaughter. Cowardice or realist? Some people would brand him a coward, but if you know that you're outmatched, then it's wise to not get yourself into a situation you're not going to get out of. So, oh crap, this is going to be so tough for me. I don't consider, I consider myself maybe a better than average player, or maybe just under average, but um, this game mode is going to be punishing for me. The warden too, or had been. I'm concentrating so it's much. Good. It's slow to react at the best of times, but anyway, good for cheap. I needed to win, but not for Dominic. Oh, I got my block at the wrong time. Time my block at the wrong time. Ooh. Oh, that one. Got so much health. Damn it. Will this be it? Nope. It just has that much health. There we go. Okay, I was a little bit better than I expected, but I still had to heal. We were still at their mercy. It will not do for a knight of the Blackstone Legion to be defeated by a common mercenary. Neil. For valor in battle, for honor and service, I, Holden Cross, raise you. Stand, Knight of the Blackstone Legion. We're finished here. I do feel sorry for Dominic. Come on. That was how I joined the Blackstone Legion. Right, so unfortunately it won't show the rewards that you actually get for doing the story as I'm doing this playthrough, but I will try and steal that from the other videos that I recorded previously and show you what rewards I got, so I'll splice this out. Okay, there we are. First mission over. I do feel sorry for Devaney. Okay, I'll check these in my own time, and I think I'll stop the recording there. I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to watch my video. It certainly means a lot to me personally. I hope you enjoyed what you saw, and if you've got any feedback, then feel free to leave a comment to let me know so that I can improve myself in the future. If you'd like to see more, then it's certainly a great incentive for me if I can see likes and subscriptions on my channel because it means I'm doing something right. 
stick with me and I'll endeavour to create more videos to keep you entertained and to keep you informed on games like For Honor and any other games that pique my interest. A small clip will follow to promote my small business venture, just in case any of you are interested. But for now, take care, have fun, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Hi, I'd like to introduce you to my small business venture, Tormented Doodles. If high contrast designs catch yours or your friend's eyes, then hopefully Tormented Doodles will be of interest to you. Mainly inspired by tribal black and white designs, I create doodles as a hobby and then digitize them so that I can then share them with you. Currently, my designs are available on merchandise via Redbubble and Threadless and will expand in future. You can find links to both my online shops via my website www.tormenteddoodles.co.uk Thank you for your time and I hope you can find something to suit your taste. Enjoy browsing and please feel free to provide feedback via the contact form on my website.